Hi, I'm Tobin Sinclair, Sales Marketing Director for Ecotech. In this video, I want to talk to you about a new feature that we're releasing soon for our ECU Connect app. Now, if you haven't got our ECU Connect app, you can download it free from either Google Play or the App Store. And it works on Android or iPhone. ECU Connect is an app that works with our Bluetooth vehicle interface, which is available from any of our tuners. Go to our website and look up dealers for your nearest Ecotec tuner. Now, in the app, once you plugged in your Bluetooth vehicle interface to the OBD port, connect it up, touch on my car. This gives you a whole host of things that you can do with the app. But what I want to focus on today in this video is dashboards click on dashboards now look here we go this is what your dashboard gives you it's a display effectively of gauges now these gauges can be anything that we log um, in our logging parameters and in most of our platforms that we support there's over 200 parameters that you can log so you can have pretty much what you want on these gauges there's also a variety of gauges you see in the top left there's a, a, a circular gauge top right there's a numerical gauge below the numerical gauge you have a bar and also there's a start and add mark button that is when you're logging so obviously you can start logging and if you uh, notice something untoward during your logging you can add a mark by touching add mark and clearly stop logging and from within the app you can email that log to your tuner so the great thing about these gauges is that you can customize this dashboard view you can have it vertical or you can have it landscape so let me show you how you do that up the top there is a cogwheel which is the settings touch on the cogwheel and it gives you a graphical view of the display that you've set up now these things if you just touch on them and drag them around you can move them wherever you want right, engine low bring it down here or engine speed you can bring it down here you can set it up to be whatever you want you can also make it larger or smaller look at that easy with just the touch of a finger so how do we add another gauge down the bottom left there click the plus here's the selection that you can have you can have a text display a numerical display or a bar display or a gauge display let's have a gauge display and we'll add that in now what do we want this gauge to display click on parameter touch on parameter rather and here is a list of all our logging parameters of which there are many so let's have a look why don't we do talk actual for the sake of argument let's go back talk actual now do we want it to have a different title to the one it's given it you can see a preview of it there at the top it's going to be called talk actual do we want a different title we can type one in if we want to do we want a different unit currently it's in unit meters you might want it in foot pounds you can change it to whatever you want you can give it a minimum value and you can give it a maximum value up to you now if you give it minimum maximum values you can also so let's say that's going to be 50 if you're going to give that a maximum value do you want the gauge to turn red as it's getting up to that maximum value so you can do that by setting thresholds so let's go into the high thresholds let's set that at 40 so when it hits 40 it's going to turn red you can have it either red or blue if you want the lower value but let's say we're going to have red do you want the whole screen to flash when it starts to hit that value let's say we do and i can show you how that works okay and as we said if you want to have that as a minimum value let's say it will have that as 10 and we're going to have that as blue and we don't want to flash the whole screen for that 
and go back so we're happy with all of that now let's do done now there it appears on our graphic view let's put it just slap bang in the middle there at the bottom leave it the same size if we wanted to we can make it smaller but let's just leave it the way it was okay we're happy with that do done so there we are at the bottom we can see new meets oh and it's gone up and the whole screen's flashed so that's the kind of alarm that you can put on and you can put that alarm on any number of these gauges so you can have an alarm on engine speed you can have an alarm on axle position you can have an alarm on torque actual so it doesn't matter which one you choose they'll all flash at the point at which you've set that alarm to go off now if we want to leave that dashboard we're happy with that but we want to create another dashboard which has another set of parameters on you can do that as well and you can switch between the dashboards so here we are that's our default dashboard go to the bottom left let's create a new one for the sake of argument let's keep it portrait but you can have it landscape if you want to let's call this test dashboard there we are click done it already gives you a couple of gauges that you can start with so touch the screen again go up to your settings do plus have whatever you like and we've been through this process before so you can see how easy it is to set up one two three four five dashboards um, which can display as many of the parameters as we log such a fantastic thing to have in your car now that you can see all of these gauges if you've got a tablet you can obviously have more gauges because it's a bigger screen the possibilities are absolutely endless and they're anything that you want so it's completely terrible by you so now i'd just like to show you a few examples of the dashboards that we've set up this particular one's on an ipad so you can see you can get more gauges on the view um, but there are millions of different combinations that you can set up and it really is up to you how you want to structure your own dashboard. So really all that there's left to say is that we hope you enjoy this new development for ECU Connect and we hope you have a great time playing around with it. Thank you very much for watching.